Nobody Wants This is a new Netflix series starring Kristen Bell and Adam Brody. So today, let's see if it's worth your time. Hey everybody, my name is Justin here. I try to watch everything that hits theaters and on streaming services like Netflix. If you guys are like me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and click that notification for more up and coming content. An agnostic podcast host and an unconventional rabbi on the rebound walk into a party. When they walk out together, the unlikely pair can tell there's something between them. Nobody wants this feels like a classic rom-com where you have two different people, but they fall in love and they have to really navigate each other's life. Where Kristen Bell has a podcast all about sex and relationships and Adam Brody is a rabbi and he's very dedicated to being a rabbi and hopefully one day has a new position. So both of them live very different lives, but they come together and realize that they have a lot in common and they want to explore a relationship. It has all the makings of a rom-com in a Netflix series. You have quirky side characters, you have moments where uh, the couple was starting to question their relationship and an outlook on each other's lives. It feels very genuine with all of that. And I really like Nobody Wants This. I like looking at both sides of this relationship from Kristen Bell, this podcast host, or and Adam Brody as this rabbi. The series does a great job of trying to establish each character by themselves and then bring them together to see how this relationship would work. And both characters are very likable. And I like that they do want to spend a lot of time with the other person getting to know their lifestyle, even if they don't fully agree with it all and may not be ready to go all in with it. There's a lot of opportunities within this series to explore each character and that relationship. Kristen Bell and Adam Brody have really good chemistry in here. It's easy for them to uh, just explore this relationship. Adam Brody is coming off of a relationship. Kristen Bell explores a lot of different relationships and she hasn't found the right person. And she's not sure if she wants to be in a relationship right now. But it's easy to see why these two connect very easily and want that relationship to further throughout the series. The minor characters in here are very solid. Morgan, Kristen Bell's sister within here, and Adam Brody's brother within the series, Sasha, both of them are really strong even though they are minor characters and those two characters sasha and morgan they get to know each other as well and they explore a friendship which feels very genuine and heartfelt within itself so you have the solid storyline with joanne and noah the couple that's growing but it also dedicates its time to the minor characters and honestly a lot of the humor lies with sasha and morgan as they are very different they're both very outspoken and very energetic, but they do bring a lot of the comedy to this show. With it being a series, you have more time dedicated to this relationship. You could look at it in like a few different ways. You could look at it like there's enough time to really develop that relationship, understand the different layers to it, and all the modern obstacles to love and exploring all of that and really just kind of get an understanding of that relationship. But you're so used to rom-coms being like an hour and a half two hours long you get straight to the point and you feel like you have the highlights of it within a movie and so at times you feel like they are creating drama just to have drama and you have like it's one step forward two steps back and there's some repetitive moments when it comes to that as uh, you feel like okay this relationship's growing we're reaching their high point and then you have this argument that sometimes is valid and at times I feel like it's just being written into the show to create drama to extend a few episodes so at times the series does work when you're really starting to develop that relationship and really focusing on adam brody and him being a rabbi and joanne's uh podcast and seeing that develop but then at times you feel like it's a bit slow in the middle half but they're still developing that relationship, but it feels a little bit repetitive. I really like Nobody Wants This. I love the rom-com feel to it. The characters are very likable. Two different people, a podcast host that talks about sex and a rabbi. And you can clearly tell many times in here that Adam Brody 
Noah wants Joanne to be part of his life and he wants her to uh, explore this relationship and his religion. And at times it's really hard for her. So I love that modern approach to love and all the obstacles that come along with it. And you see two very different characters, but when they come together, they work and it's very solid throughout. I really like this show. It's funny. The minor characters are hilarious in here. You just have a really nice sense of love and understanding, but also looking at obstacles and your own self and how you can grow as a person. That's all very strong within this series. So before I give you my score for Nobody Wants This, make sure to check out my channel. Here I do movie reviews, trailer actions, ranking videos, tier lists, all that fun movie related content that you see on YouTube. I do it all here, so hit that subscribe button to get it all in one spot. I'm gonna go ahead and give Nobody Wants This a B. Thank you guys for checking my review for Nobody Wants This on Netflix. Have you guys seen it by chance? What do you think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more up and coming content like this. My name is Justin Watches Movies and you guys stay classy too.